Good morning guys, happy Sunday. Today we are talking to you about electrics in our van. As you know, we've undertaken the van build in preparation for our trip to Ireland at the end of October. So it's really important to organise how we're going to get power on our road trip. So up until now, it's been incredibly basic. Our system has been when we're driving, we charge our phones and when we're static, we just can't or we have to leave the engine running. We've been incredibly limited in, as to what appliances we can have in the van. We haven't been able to have a fridge or a real music system or projectors or anything like that. It's very much been basic charging our phones and that's about it. There are many, many ways you can add power to a van, but we believe the easiest way is to get something like this. This is the Jackery 1000 and this box contains a whole lot of power and this is what we're going to be using to power our van on this trip. This is going to be powering our lights, our fridge, our music and <laughs> charging our phones, our cameras, everything. There are no complicated wires involved, it's literally out of the box, plug in and you're good to go. Let me show you. There are a few different ways to charge up your Jackery on the road. You can charge it up on mains power, so we're going to charge it up at home before we leave. You can also charge it by the carport in your van, so 12 volts DC. Or, and the most exciting one, you can use solar panels. That's literally how quick it takes to set up the solar panels. <laughs> Let me show you how they work. So at the back here, there's a little pocket and the wires are in there. They also come with a splitter so that you can use both at once. Put that in there. Now we need to plug this into the jackery. Red into the red, black into the black. And there we go, it's charging. So that's how you charge the Jackery. Now what can you use it for? There are two plug sockets. There's a 12 volt DC outlet and there is a quick USB charge, a USB and a USB-C. And you can use just one of those or all of them all at once. We use ours for all sorts of jobs around the van. We're going to run our fridge the whole time we are away using our Jackery. We're also going to be using it to charge our laptops, phones and camera batteries. The Jackery will also be powering our LED 12 volt lights. There are also some fun uses for the Jackery too. We've got our blender. And our rather elaborate music system. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I, I really wanna know The great thing I love about the Jackery also is it doesn't have to be kept to the van It's super easy just to unplug and take it with us to the beach or to a friend's house, camping, whatever as long as it's charged, it will charge your stuff. You can be in the middle of nowhere like this and still have power. And if you charge it using the solar panels, that power is completely free. We're going to be relying a lot on this little box on our trip to Ireland, including before we even leave. We've been using our Jackery to power our tools for the van build too. This entire trip from start to finish will be powered by Jackery. That's just so cool, right? Better carry on the van build then. And we've got a lot that needs doing. <laughs> first things first, we are going to put the headliner on. Well, attempt to anyway. We bought this mandala fabric and we're going to attempt to put it on the ceiling. 
don't know if I've taken it off. Look, if you can see this. There's a massive gap between the actual roof and the board. Mm. Take that down as well. Is that an option? Yeah. Have you so got enough plywood? I've got hard board. Sorry, that's what I meant. And then yeah. keep these bits. Yeah, so we could probably just... I mean, the whole thing's really bad. And then what's under this? Just the metal? Mm. I think we should probably take it all down. Yeah. Yeah, it's not worth just sticking the thing over no, the top, is it? It's not, this is really, really bad. And damp, probably. That's, that's probably why it's done this. It's got damp. Probably because it's not insulated. And mm. The condensation could... just goes up there. So we might have a quiet, a little bit of a change of plan. The hardboard was absolutely wrecked. So we need to replace that with something. And now we're wondering if we should replace it with something else completely. In the end, we opted for tongue groove planks. We got gifted a load um, for free a little while ago. We didn't want to replace like for like, so the hardboard, because eventually it will just get damp and do the same thing anyway. Wooden planks seem like a really good option. They look beautiful and are really hard wearing, but this time we'll do it properly and we'll make sure we put insulation first. Oh, this one. If you do a five thirty, please. That's long. Oh no, five thirty. Yeah. That is long. I'm not doing length. I'm doing width. What's this? What's this bit? Two hundred. I just need a strip. That's two metres. I said two hundred. Two hundred millimetres. Two hundred centimetres. It's a problem. It's a problem with people using centimetres.
We tested out our 12 volt lights in the dark and I'm really pleased we did because even on the lowest setting they were far too bright. We were thinking of different ways that we could work them and make them a little bit more dim and we opted for putting fabric just underneath the casing to dim the light just enough so that the light isn't too overpowering. Super easy, super cheap and mega effective. <laughs> enough because the corners of this are rounded like there's loads of space in the back corner for that cable to come out because it needs to go in that I oh, know it needs to go up there doesn't it, it? Up yeah up so we can take that out of the way for a minute that's just gonna go straight in that back corner unfortunately we need a hole big enough to fit this whole thing through I think Near yeah, as I can go. Oh. I made the owl. <laughs> what is that made of? Look at that. Uh, MDF. Green MDF. Uh huh. I'm gonna cut the nail like that. I'm gonna cut the nail like that. Sits and then we can just like that. Perfect. Okay. 